Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we are going to be performing an upgrade on this MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro uh, A1278 is the model. Now obviously if you punch that into Google it's going to say that it's, there's a whole bunch of different models with that number but this one I believe is from around 2012. Uh, it's got an i5 but it's only got four gigabytes of RAM. Um, basically this is my brother's laptop and he has a newer MacBook that he uses as his everyday sort of thing, but he coaches high school football and he was like, I want to have a computer that I can just leave in my office, um, you know, that I don't have to, you know, go back and forth. He didn't really care uh, if he had to be plugged into the power or anything like that. He was like, it's literally going to sit on my desk. So he was like, I've got this thing sitting around. Can you do anything with it? And I said, hey, what's the problem with it? And he just said, it turns on, but it's super, super slow. Basically, um, he thought maybe he had a virus or whatever. And I said, look, you know, you're probably running, um, you know, a mechanical hard drive in there because I don't think he's ever upgraded this. So it most definitely would. And, you know, with only four gigabytes of RAM, you're pretty limited, uh, especially by today's standards. So best thing we can do is pop a solid state drive into this bad boy and upgrade the RAM. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We've got a uh, PNY solid state drive, which is not on my desk at the moment, but I will grab it in a second. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to clone that drive uh, just using the disk utility that MacBooks already have, OS X. Um, has a utility called Disk Utility. You can clone disks that way. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. It's really easy. Watch a YouTube video, whatever. Um, so it's really handy. It's not like a Windows machine where you got to, you know, download third-party software like, uh, you know, I don't know, one of the myriad of, of softwares that are out there that help you do that. Mac's really easy to clone a disk. So uh, we're going to clone the mechanical hard drive onto the solid state drive, install that in here, and then we are going to remove the four gigabytes of uh, RAM and swap it in with 16 gigabytes of this silicon power DDR3 uh, RAM. Now, it is DDR3 that goes in here. So obviously this is an older machine, so it uses older RAM. So just make sure that um, if you're looking to perform a similar upgrade, you double check and make sure that your machine um, takes DDR3. Now, technically, um, from what I understand and what I've read, this MacBook uh, that's in front of me right now can only accept a maximum of 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, obviously, I have 16. Uh, this is because on Amazon, this was actually pretty cheap. I think I got it for about 12 bucks, but it took a while for it to get here, so it was obviously on back order. Um, but uh, I've read on you know every Mac and some other uh, websites that users have successfully installed 16 gigabytes so i figure you know this was only about 12 13 bucks 16 gigs i'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens and uh you know once i install it and show you guys how to pop it in there we'll fire up the computer and see if the uh computer recognizes the 16 and uh we'll go from there but anyway fingers crossed so what we're gonna do is we are obviously gonna close the lid this particular macbook is a unibody model but it still has a whole bunch of screws, so it means that we can take it apart. Now, obviously, a lot of um, newer MacBooks are all sort of solid construction or whatever, and you can't get into them, or at least it's very difficult to get into them. But this one's still pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to go around, and we're going to remove all of these screws. They're pretty easy to spot. You just need a, um, I mean, they're, they're quite small. So uh, make sure that you have the appropriate screwdriver. It's just a Phillips head. It's no weird torque screws or anything like that in there. And you're just going to take all these screws out. And then this whole back plate is just going to lift right off. And basically everything that we need to access is going to be right underneath it. So there's not much digging around. It's actually pretty easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these screws. And um, I'll come back once I do that. And we can remove the back panel and check it out. Okay, so I've removed all of those screws. Um, they're really, really tiny, so just make sure that you put them in a safe space so that you can put them back. And now this back panel is just going to lift off really, really easily. Just, you know, find a spot where your finger fits in and just lift it up and out. And it's going to be fine to remove. Now, um, what you'll see here is uh, obviously the inside of the computer. So uh, what you'll notice is that there already is a solid state drive installed on here. So uh, my initial assessment of this computer was wrong. Um, 
he was saying that uh, you know this the 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 computer was running really really slowly when launching programs and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know if um, you know cloning this solid state drive is going to do much. I can run some diagnostics and make sure that it's working okay, uh, but. I think our main culprit is going to be the RAM. So as we can see here, it's just the RAM stick right here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to punch in a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and we're just going to remove the sticks of RAM that are in there and replace them with these guys. And hopefully, um, like I said, it will recognize it first off because this particular model um, only accepts eight gigabytes maximum according to the official documentation from Apple. But like I said, other users have reported that 16 is okay in this machine. So we'll see. Um, but I'm just gonna punch in a little bit closer. You can see how I remove the RAM and how I install the new stuff. Okay, so as you can see, the RAM modules are just seated here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna use your fingers and there's these two little arms that kind of clip into the RAM stick and hold it in place. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find these two little edges. They're kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe them. You'll, you'll see them, it will look exactly the same. Just gently pull those away and your RAM will pop straight up on an angle like that. And just grab it and just slide it right out. And there you go. So as you can see right here, this is the RAM that came with the machine. It's only two gigabytes. So, um, not great. Obviously, there's two two modules here, so a total of four gigabytes. So, you know, obviously running, um, you know, programs like Chrome and, uh, you know, RAM-hungry programs are going to be difficult on this machine. And that's what my brother was saying. He was just saying, you know, like, obviously it boots up, it's fine, but it's just, you know, sort of unusable in terms of, you know, how slow and bogged down it gets. So, fingers crossed, the RAM upgrade will make a difference. Anyway, so we removed that first RAM stick and the second one is directly underneath it. Now it's a bit tricky to get to those little arms because you can kind of see here, um, they're underneath the other ones. So you just kind of have to like put your fingers in there and just really push. And don't be afraid to, you know, you don't want to be manhandling it, but you know, getting this second stick out is a little bit more difficult because again the way that this is configured it just makes it a bit tougher so i apologize that you guys can't really see what i'm doing because my hand's in the way but you kind of have to just sort of there we go wiggle it out of there so once uh you know you release the little arm levers there um that essentially secure these ram sticks in there the second one's a little bit more difficult because you kind of gotta yeah coax it out i guess Anyway, so that's it. So that's your four gigabytes of RAM. Um, and we're gonna replace it with the 16. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I bought Silicon Power, a 16 gigabyte kit. Um, I've already removed one obviously here. Now, uh, what's really important is that you make sure that whatever model computer you have, whatever model MacBook you have, pay attention to the DDR series. So this is DDR3 RAM. And the reason why this is important because you can see how there's this um, you know, sort of like asymmetrical uh, pin configuration here where you know it's not directly in the center, it's kind of off to the side. Now DDR4, this little notch here will be in a different spot. So if you buy DDR4 or DDR2 RAM, it's not gonna fit in your machine. Like here's the old RAM stick that we just took out. You'll notice where the slot is. If we just kind of like overlap these two, you'll notice that they'll line up perfectly and that's because they're both DDR3. So you just wanna make sure that you have DDR three ram if you are upgrading this specific macbook if not you know again just look at the documentation see what people are saying online to figure out what sort of ram you need for your particular machine anyway you can see here because that notch is there it's got to go in this way because the notch is on this side so what we're going to do is we're going to try to and i apologize if this takes me a little bit because i'm trying to do this through the viewfinder of my camera and we're just going to kind of angle it in so you can see I'm not pushing it down just yet. You want to make sure that the pins kind of slot into the receiver there. And then once it's secure, then just push down. And those little arms are going to come in and secure your RAM module in place. So we've got the first one in. So that's the first eight gigabyte stick. I'm going to grab the other stick here. I'm going to flick it around so that the notch lines up. And then we're going to slot that in as well, push it in, 
It should be standing up on an angle and then simply push it down. Those little arms are going to come in and then that's it. You're done. So you have the new RAM installed. And now what we're going to do next is fire up this computer and see if this computer recognizes the full 16 gigabytes of RAM that we've just installed. But what I'm going to do first, obviously before that, is put the back cover or back panel back on. So we're going to put the back panel on, screw it all down, and then we'll turn it on. Okay, so I know you guys can see me in the reflection of the screen here, uh, but I put the back panel on and uh, I've screwed it all in. And so what I'm hoping is that this computer has a little bit of juice in it so that we can turn it on and see if it works. So let's give it a go. Here we go. We're pressing the power button now. I see the little indicator light indicating that it's coming on. And here we go. Okay, so we've got a little blue screen. I'm hoping this is booting. Obviously, if it didn't recognize the RAM, then it wouldn't boot. Um, but we're getting a blue screen here. I'm not sure, again, if this is, like I said, my brother said that this was, um, you know, a fairly slow machine. But this is not promising at the moment. Oh, wait, there we go. All right. Okay. I think we might be in business. All right, so we've got the little boot up bar. I can see what he means here, but that's okay. All right, let's, uh, let's click onto his account here. Now, I think I know his password, hopefully. And it looks like we're in. Okay, so obviously this, uh, the RAM sticks are being um, recognized and you know I hate to say it but my brother I think has some viruses on his computer he's got a lot of junk on here um, anyway let's take a look at just the about this Mac section so if I click on this let's see here it's feeling I mean again this isn't my computer so I'm not sure a hundred percent yet there we go we've got 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz ddr3 memory so it's definitely recognizing it let's click the little memory tab it says here your mac contains two memory slots each of which accepts a 1600 megahertz ddr3 memory module all memory slots are currently in use and it's seeing the 8 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte for 16 gigabytes total so this computer was um like i said running on four gigabytes of ram which is pretty pretty um slow so um you know a cheap upgrade this is 12 bucks i think i'll put a link down in the description for the exact uh memory kit that i got but uh for 12 bucks you can make your old macbook uh definitely run a bit snappier uh just by installing some ram um again it's just gonna make everything run a little bit smoother and like i said um we didn't do a solid state drive upgrade because you already had one in there so um the solid state drive obviously helps with the boot up times uh but once you know you get into opening programs programs and all that sort of stuff that's where the ram comes into play so only having four is really going to severely limit you in 2023 so um, performing a fairly cheap um, pretty quick little upgrade uh, will make your computer that much more usable anyway that's going to do it for this video um, hopefully this helps you guys out um, if you have any questions definitely let me know in the uh, comments down below but anyway thanks so much for watching this is gizmo joe signing off